as we are discovering, were not always statutorily correct or proper. Um, leases never came before the council in any way, shape, or form. They were discussed briefly at a Parks and Rec meeting occasionally. Many leases never even came before the, even the Parks and Rec committee. Um, that is statutorily absolutely incorrect, and then they were just signed off by the mayor. Um, I said every step of the way, and if, if I always have room to approve, and I will continue to, you know, strive in that in that direction. Um, I started at Parks and Rec because that was kind of a nod to how it was done, but always with the intent, as was in there, that all information and the ultimate decision would always come to the council. Um, going forward, what I would do is ask you all and not go to Parks and Rec since they are advisory. Start here versus there when it comes to that. Um, as Councilmember Broderick stated, nothing inappropriate was done. We have no local businesses that were being given any sweetheart deals. And I really need that harassment, as it has said, to stop. We had no local businesses um, that had been slandered in the media that even put in an application, even a uh, bid. So um, all that just needs to be laid to rest. We will go into negotiations with Joey's. Um, my parks director does not feel comfortable given some statements that were made to him about um, that he would be named in a lawsuit and the municipal league agreed that given that, you do not put him in that situation. So I have requested that our city attorney um, help with those negotiations. Ultimately, by the statute, as we found out, that still statutorily falls in my purview. But I do think it would be important to have that liaison. Um, I do ask for the council that you all please send Attorney Cobb um, some things that are important to you in terms of the lease, um, potential rates that you feel are reasonable. We uh, are in the process. I asked our economic developer to please put together just as much information as we can on different things and costs for the facility because we cannot take taxpayer dollars and use that to, to subsidize a for-profit business. And not to say that that was ever the attempt or anything else that's being taken place, but over the course of six years and to no fault of the per tenant, Utilities have gone up significantly. Uh, a lot of the costs associated with running that building have gone up significantly. And lease rates in the area, all over the place, have gone up significantly. So I agree that we need to um, be fair, but we have to be fair to all concerned, including the citizens. But I ask that you all think about that. We will get all the information to you. And um, for you to please give <coughs> Mr. Paul some input in some direction. Okay? Uh, I, have, is I just wanted to say that <laughs> I'm happy to negotiate on behalf of the city, but I want it understood that I have no binding authority and that whatever information or that's not the right word, whatever agreement gets hammered out will come back to the council. It's going to be, it's going to be your decision with respect to the entire document. So I just, uh, I just want to make a statement for that. Right, which is why it's important that you all on the front end, so that we do not waste um, the current tenant's time, so that you know that we're not. I want to make sure we're negotiating in good faith. So that's something that you all think is reasonable. So that's why that information to Mr. Cobb on the front end would be so important. I, I 